China's nuclear submarine fleet has quietly transformed from an outdated force into one of the most advanced players beneath the sea. Once dismissed as noisy and limited, these vessels are now emerging with groundbreaking technologies and hypersonic weapon systems that are raising eyebrows across the globe. In this video, we'll explore how China's submarines became so much quieter and why new hypersonic missiles make them especially disruptive. The story of China's submarines is one of rapid transformation. In 1974, the People's Liberation Army Navy commissioned its first nuclear-powered submarine, the Type 091. At the time, it was considered loud, slow, and easily detectable, well behind U.S. and Soviet designs. For decades, this technological gap defined perceptions of China's undersea fleet. The narrative has changed dramatically. The turning point came with the introduction of the Type 093 class in 2006. Unlike its predecessors, this nuclear attack submarine featured design improvements that significantly reduced noise levels. By 2015, the Type 093 A variant introduced further refinements, including new hull coatings and an enhanced propulsion system. A major leap was the integration of air-independent propulsion systems, a technology that allows submarines to remain submerged for longer without surfacing to recharge. This upgrade didn't just extend endurance. It made these subs far harder to track. Experts monitoring these advancements, including analysts at the Heritage Foundation, have noted that the plan's progress has been rapid and credible. Former U.S. Navy officer Christopher Carlson remarked that the upcoming Type 095 class, now under development, could become a very quiet submarine, which will complicate the situation. Quietness is a defining metric in undersea operations. The less noise a submarine produces, the harder it is to detect using sonar systems, giving it more freedom to move undetected. The Type 095 is expected to integrate magnetic drive systems and rim-driven propellers, advanced technologies not yet deployed in foreign navies. These systems reduce mechanical noise by replacing traditional propulsion shafts with electromagnetic or enclosed propeller designs. Combined with modern hull shaping and improved vibration dampening, the planned submarines are approaching levels of stealth that could rival the quietest subs operated by other major navies. Why is this so significant? Because undersea activity depends on one basic rule, detection equals vulnerability. The ability of Chinese submarines to approach silently means they can carry out patrols, track opposing fleets, or position themselves for strategic tasks without easily being located. If stealth makes submarines harder to track, advanced weapons make them far more impactful. In recent years, China has revealed developments in submarine-launched missiles that could reshape the balance of naval power. At the center of this shift is the YJ-19 hypersonic cruise missile, a weapon reportedly capable of reaching speeds several times faster than sound. What makes the YJ-19 especially notable is its launch method. Reports indicate that the missile can be fired from torpedo tubes, avoiding the need for specialized vertical launch systems. This design decision is clever. It allows existing attack submarines to be retrofitted with hypersonic strike capability without requiring a completely new class of vessels. The speed and maneuverability of hypersonic missiles present a formidable challenge for defense systems. Traditional interception methods rely on tracking predictable flight paths. Hypersonics, by contrast, travel at extreme speeds and can adjust their trajectories mid-flight. This drastically reduces reaction time for defenders. For a submarine, launching such a weapon transforms it from a stealth platform into a highly flexible strike asset. But the plan isn't just adding missiles, it's creating synergy between its naval forces. Submarines armed with the YJ-19 can now operate alongside Type 055 destroyers, considered among the most advanced surface combatants in the world, and the Fujian aircraft carrier, which uses electromagnetic launch systems similar to the U.S. Navy's latest designs. Together, these platforms form integrated task groups where subs, ships, and aircraft share information and coordinate missions. This contrasts sharply with Russia's situation. While Russian submarines remain formidable individually, the country's broader naval fleet has seen little modernization, with no new destroyer designs laid down since the Soviet era. 
China, by contrast, is pairing advanced subs with cutting-edge surface and aviation forces, creating a multi-dimensional challenge for any Navy tasked with countering them. Adding to this complexity is the diverse missile inventory China equips on its submarines. Alongside hypersonics, these vessels can deploy anti-ship and land attack missiles, expanding their mission profile. The introduction of hypersonic weapons at sea highlights a broader theme. China isn't simply catching up, it is innovating. While China accelerates submarine development, the U.S. faces an industrial bottleneck. According to the Wall Street Journal, the U.S. Navy is currently producing only about 1.2 attack submarines per year, far below the Navy's goal of roughly 2.3 per year. This production gap has been a growing concern, particularly as maintenance delays further strain fleet availability. In fiscal year 2023, 16 U.S. submarines were idle while waiting for repairs, pushing operational availability rates down to 67%. This means nearly one-third of the fleet was unavailable for missions at any given time. The backlog stems from limited shipyard capacity, workforce shortages, and complex maintenance requirements that often take longer than anticipated. Even with recent investments, building and sustaining nuclear-powered submarines remains a highly resource-intensive process. Efforts are underway to address the issue. U.S. shipyards have begun outsourcing more modular construction tasks in an attempt to accelerate production timelines. Additionally, Congress has approved funding packages aimed at stabilizing submarine procurement. At the same time, new initiatives are underway to expand shipyard infrastructure, hire more skilled workers, and streamline supply chains. However, these measures take years to translate into operational results. Former naval leaders have repeatedly emphasized that shipbuilding is not something that can be scaled up overnight. Unlike building aircraft or vehicles, submarines require highly specialized facilities, strict safety protocols, and complex nuclear propulsion systems that only a few shipyards worldwide are equipped to handle. This lag creates a strategic dilemma. As China improves the stealth and armament of its submarines, the U.S. cannot simply add numbers at the same pace. Instead, it must rely on qualitative advantages, such as advanced detection technologies, unmanned undersea vehicles, and networked anti-submarine systems. Yet, if availability rates continue to drop, even those advantages risk being undermined by sheer numbers and deployment frequency from competitors. The key lesson here is that industrial capacity can be as decisive as technology. While U.S. submarines remain highly capable, Limited production and maintenance delays create vulnerabilities in sustaining a global undersea presence. This imbalance underscores why China's rapid submarine evolution is being watched so closely and why the question of undersea leadership is now being openly debated. China's submarine fleet has shifted from outdated and noisy to stealthy, missile-armed, and integrated with advanced naval groups. With the introduction of hypersonic weapons and quieter propulsion systems, these submarines are reshaping expectations of undersea operations. Meanwhile, the U.S. struggles with production shortfalls and maintenance backlogs, raising questions about the future balance beneath the sea. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.